Are you not getting that sharp, clean cut that you traditionally get with your reel mower? Chances are your reel needs backlapping. So in today's video, we're gonna take out the reel cartridge, give it a good backlapping. So let's take this out and head to the garage. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today we're going to back clap the cartridge that comes on the Allop Kensington 20H. First, I'm going to cover a few of the items you'll need for this little project. First, get your cartridge here. I'm doing it on a table instead of getting down on the ground. So I'll put a clamp on it, keep it nice and sturdy. I don't want it jumping off the table or falling over on me as I rotate the, the cylinder. You need a drill. This, this is my Weber cooking apron. In case you don't want to get your shirt dirty or your clothes dirty. I definitely don't want to get this dirty. Next is your lapping compound. Got some pin high compound here. I got 80 grit and also some 120 grit. This came, this little kit, these two came with this brush. This is bent intentionally to apply the compound to the reel. Next is, you always want to wear some good eye coverage. We got some goggles here. Also, a, an adapter for your sockets. I got this, pick this up at Home Depot. It goes into your reel. And then this end goes into your socket here. They're both half inch sockets and the socket that fits the Kensington line. Show you this here. Goes on there. This is a 24 millimeter socket. If you don't have millimeter sockets, look in your toolbox. You may have a 15 16th of an inch. It's not quite as tight. As you can see it has a little wiggle to it as opposed to the metric has a slight wobble to it, but it will hold enough to rotate this. And also the little screwdriver. This is used to raise and lower each setting on the reel. To the bed knife, it'll raise it or lower it. And then of course some paper to test, test your cut. And I'll show that here in just a minute. And that's pretty much all you'll need for a backlapping project. So let's get started. All right, before we get started, let's move this out of the way. Let's just do the paper test, kind of show you what the blade looks like now. Got a small strip of paper here. Cuts cleanly in the middle. See, on this side here, it's not cutting. As we get out toward the edge, it's not cutting. It's cutting clean, but as it comes out to the side, it's not cutting. And I notice that in the yard as well, it's leaving a line on one side. 
Then we come over to this side. It is cutting fairly clean. You can hear the grinding as this grinding compound is hitting between the bed knife and the cylinder. closer to the bed now. Touching it lightly, it's starting to put a nice little edge on it. Let's bring it down one more. So let's do a paper test. See how that edge is looking. Start in the middle. Ah, clean cut. Very clean. On the edge. Yeah, that's a good example. The blade was right there on the edge. That tip's still not making the cut, so we will click one more time. Bring the reel down. Yes. One more notch. paper here and I feel it is getting quite sharper into our paper test. Perfect clean cut. Perfect cut. And our final test over here. We want to get right here on the edge, make sure it's cutting. Ah look at there. Nice clean cut. 
Let's do it again, just make sure. Nice cut. Nice cut. Let's just go all the way down it for the fun of it. Look at there. I think we got it fixed. As close to the edge as possible because I want to test this here. Perfect. We are good to go. We got my safety goggles, but I was wearing sunglasses. So, I guess one's better than just as good as the other. I'm gonna head on over here and rinse it off. Right, guys i hope you enjoyed this video i just installed the cartridge into my kensington did another paper test as you can see a little piece of paper in it all the way across and it cut beautifully i'll have links to these products on my website sunnybermuda.com if you guys like this video be sure and hit the like button hit that subscribe button down here in the corner and uh, leave me a comment I always enjoy hearing from you guys and i'll try to reply to every comment so i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one I'm going to take this mower out on the yard and give it another cut. You guys have a great day.